Welcome to CTN Reviews. Today, we will show you some tips on Microsoft Publisher 2010. Let's start with keyboard shortcuts. To quickly open the help window, press F1 on your keyboard. To change the selected font, press Control, Shift, and F at the same time. I'm going to make it bold and red. Okay. To make it bigger, press Control, Shift, and more. Or smaller, press Control, Shift, and less. To open a new publisher document, press Control and N. If you want to save your current document, press Control S and it will save it for you in the background if you've already saved it. To undo the most recent action, Press Control Z or Alt and Backspace. So I'll make this instead of red, I'll make it blue. Control Z. It makes it red again. You can redo the most recent action by pressing Control and Y. To send an object like this to the back of the screen, press Alt, Shift, and F6. Now it's, now it's behind everything. If you wish to bring it back to the front, you can easily doing, you can do this by pressing Alt, F6. To change the view of your publication to the actual print size, push F9. You can exit this mode by pushing F9 again. To print your publication, press Control P. Now, let's move on to some new fe features in Publisher 2010. When you have a selected picture, Publisher lets you change the brightness and contrast of a picture very, very easily. You can, all you do is select the picture, go to Picture Tools and Format. Then you can hit Brightness. You can make it really bright or really dark. You can also change the contrast of this to a high contrast or a, sl or a low contrast. You can, let's say you, you're, this document is in this, let's, let's say this document is in this special template, like bounce. You can change this template within the document when you're halfway finished with it, by going to insert, I mean page design, then clicking on change template. Once you select it, choose your template. I'm going to use color band for this one. Then hit OK. Hit a, then click apply to t apply template to the current publication. It'll put all of your content on the right side of the screen, so you can easily drag it in, or, or drag it in, or insert it. Public publisher can also check your work and provide suggestions. You can do this by clicking on File, 
info and then run design checker. It will come up with a list of suggestions on the right side of the page. Another feature is auto saving. You you can, you can make Publisher automatically save your work in the background at specific time intervals. To do this, click on File, then click on Options. Next, go to Save, and you can check the box that says Allow Background Saves. Then, select the interval of time that you want it to change within. Like, I'll choose five minutes. Okay. Lastly, you can easily put the date and time into a publication or into a publisher document. <clears throat> Select where you want the date and time to go, and then go to the insert section on the ribbon. Then click on date and time. You can select which format you want it, want it in, and then you can tell it to update the time automatically as you work. Then click OK. I hope that these tips will improve your publisher experience. Thank you for watching, and be sure to visit Current Technology News CTN. Thank you.